back in business just a year after fire completely destroyed this distribution centre and the Prime Minister had come to see for himself this remarkable turnaround. This was the giant Sony DADC warehouse in Enfield alight at the height of last summer's riots. It took firefighters six days to bring the blaze under control, by which stage up to three million CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray discs had been lost. But the firm was determined to rebuild here and to do so as quickly as possible. After those riots, after that fire, some companies might have thought again about where they were located. But I think it's fantastic that Sony have shown their real commitment to Enfield and built back even bigger and better and continuing to employ so many local people. The new building may be similar in structure to the old, but with more space inside to accommodate new technologies, the company hopes it can now look to the future with confidence. We've got a, a great distribution centre that is innovative, that is technological, um, that it has fourth generation capabilities for both disc and non-disc based product, merchandise products and so on. So it's been an opportunity in the face of adversity. During the rebuild, Sony had transferred its distribution operation to another site in Hertfordshire. But despite all the disruption, all the staff kept their jobs. The rioters, if you like, had their night but they lost. They, we didn't just demonstrate good community spirit, but out of the ashes of that, this represents uh, what is a success story. David Cameron today praised the speed of the rebuild as well as the spirit of those involved. And the centre is now once again fully operational, ahead of what will be its busiest time of the year. Nick Thatcher, London Tonight, Enfield.